Hello and welcome back to Brogue. We had a, a pretty good run. It got cut uh, tragically short uh, because of my... Wait, something is wrong. There we go. <laughs> uh, because of my own, um, basically, um, not pride. What's the, what's the hubris? I mean, it's all generally your hubris that kills you in uh, roguelike games, isn't it? God, I, I can't say roguelike anymore without having a kind of like a visceral gut reaction. It's like, I, I feel the need to specify um, traditional roguelike because it's like, God, I, I don't want to, I don't wanna, I want this to get spicy like one minute. Hey, hey, an X, nice. Uh, like a minute into this video, but. Uh, I do, I do wonder, like the the whole roguelike conversation. I, at this point, for me, it's it's become kind of tedious. I don't really care, um, but I, I do understand caring, and I think a lot th that's pretty much it for a lot of people. It's like, well, I mean, I don't want to really have this debate again. Of, you know, why this game is not a roguelike, or why that game is not a roguelike. Let them be roguelikes, but they're certainly not traditional roguelikes. Like, let us, you know, let us have that. Um, hello. Hello, phone. Uh, I guess the reason I, I even mention it is it's sort of like, well, I, I don't want to call things a roguelike because that term has been kind of like, it really can just mean anything now. Um, and I, I don't mean that in a like, oh, they have to be very specific to mean this or that. It's like, well, I mean, basically any game that has like permadeath almost feels like it's been given the uh, roguelike term. But I don't know. I, like I said, I don't really care. Um, I think that traditional roguelike works because it means something very specific. Um, and generally you know exactly what people are talking about. But then you do get into a question of like, well, what about meta progression? You can still find meta progression in uh, traditional roguelikes. And I know before before any of you like, uh, you know, exhaust, just like, oh my God, please stop this conversation about meta progression. I'm like, no, no, no. I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm just saying, no, I'm just saying, um, that like you can find traditional roguelikes with meta progression uh does that immediately like pull them out of the traditional roguelike genre or are they traditional roguelikes with meta progression so i don't know and then you get into like well what, what's a roguelite i i don't know i don't i don't know what a roguelite is let's try this uh scroll oh it's a scroll of enchanting we keep getting Lucky with those, and I'm going to use it on our axe because we will switch to our axe soon enough. Scroll of, we got another scroll of enchanting. That's really quick to be getting scrolls of enchanting that early. God, this is not good. Okay, nice thing about the goblin mystics is like once you kill them, all of the swords disappear. We want to ascend so that we can uh, safely heal. Recharging charm, nice. We really didn't make much use of our wands, but we really didn't make much use of anything in that last run. Um, that was just really unfortunate what happened. I that, that could have been a run that would have lasted a lot longer than it did, but uh, I just, you know, didn't didn't know that if you're trapped in a, in a net, you, you basically instantly die if you're being attacked. I mean, you don't, but you know what I mean. It's like, it's it's pretty severe. Like, the fact that we died to goblins and we were at depth seven, that's pretty much, like, pretty uh, objective. Like, you can't, you should not be in a net if you can help it. So, um, there really, as I said before, there isn't any reason to kill any monsters if we don't have to but uh you know if they're in my way and if i need to explore then i am going to kill them and i i don't want to be chased by anything that's why i killed the um the unicorn is like i could have just let it go but it was following me and i really didn't like that 
Like the last thing I want is for, like, what if it was waiting to, you know, for just at the moment when I'm being attacked by something else, um, to to attack me? It's like, oh hey, you're you're distracted by something else. This is when I'm going to come in and gore you. I'm going to Al gore you. Um, all right, so let's see what we got. Let's look at some potions, strength, telepathy. Well, uh, that does tell us that there are no eels in this pond. That's kind of nice. Black potion. Life. Nice. Strength. There we go. Uh, we need, like, two more of those, and then we can start using this axe. Um, invisibility. Darkness. And I think... I don't know if I saw that the scroll of enchanting will actually... Uh, uncurse items i'm not sure if that's that's the case but we can try the bloodstone ring this is like um who knows what effects it was oh okay so we don't know so uh, we'll equip it we'll see what happens we can always uncurse ourselves later let me go ahead and rest for the time being uh until we're not darkened anymore i don't know what darkened does but i'm pretty sure it's not good oh we got a bloat uh, I guess I'll go in the water. I didn't want to. Oh, is that our... If that was our axe, I would... Uh, everything is escaping us. You now have the axe. Okay. I don't know if we can... <sighs> this is bad. Dive into the depths? No. You plunge through a hole in the ground. Oh, man. Okay, well, th that was bad. I didn't know there could be, <laughs> like, holes in the ground to the next floor. That's kind of fun. Oh, man, our nutrition is gone. Hey, I swear to- I swear this axe was at- was a 15 strength axe when I first got it. Let's, uh, let's equip it now. It's only a 16% uh, decrease in accuracy. Is this a staircase upward? Yeah, let's go back upwards. Um, I really wanted to... There was a door key there that I really wanted to grab. I guess I didn't need to go through the water at all. I don't know why I thought I did, to be honest. You plunged through a hole in the ground. What? Again? Wow. Okay. So a bunch of enemies in this room. Okay. All right. All right. This is not great. Oh, it's fine. Okay. It's fine. Let's eat some food. And I want to go back upstairs. There was, there's a door here and I really just want to get the key. Um, and check out what's inside there, but there, there's been a lot of holes. Oh my God, another hole in the ground. What, what is going on here exactly? I guess I need to do this like one step at a time. There's a hole. There's another hole. There's a lot of holes here. Oh my God. Yo, this, this, uh, this floor can honestly bite me. I just want the key. <laughs> okay. We plunged in a hole. What is going on? Are these holes appearing or are they already there? Should I be doing a search, I wonder? Is this exactly the occasion where a search will help? That seems to, that seemed to, oh yeah, that did actually help. There's a specific path. Okay. Aha, all right, so search actually does have a range. Um, you now have a door key, okay. So I did figure it out. It, it only took me several uh, holes to figure it out. L don't read too much into that. Uh, you see through nearby walls and doors within a radius determined by the level of the ring. A cursed ring of clairvoyance will blind you to your immediate surroundings. Ah, uh, that sounds really good, actually. Oh, but the mace. 
The mace, though. <laughs> I think I am going to take the clairvoyance ring. Because that's just really good. Now we're in clairvoyance ring. Oh, is this the previous floor? This is the previous floor. Okay. We can finally get to the next floor naturally now. <laughs> All right. Um, we're just gonna explore. I don't know. We could. Uh, I'm already wielding the the mace. I'm wondering if there's anything else I should be using. Scroll of enchanting, maybe. Nice. That that went out. That went really well. Potion of darkness. I don't think that's good for us. Oh, we want to explore this area. Oh, eel. Okay. Get out of here, eel. You're you're hurting me. That hurts. Stop it. Okay, goblin. You you are also doing bad things to me. Uh, I'm I'm getting oh yeah confusion trap. I'm gonna get to the po I'm, I'm getting to the point where I don't think stepping on pressure plates is ever worth it unless there's basically a cage nearby. It it basically if it's if you can if it's difficult to step on the pressure plate, that's when you want to step on the pressure plate. Where I'm just gonna take a chance and read it. Scroll of recharging. Not a bad scroll, but not good for us right now. We need we need a staff or something for that to be worth it. Is that a jelly already? Damn. It's a little early for that, isn't it? Okay. It seems to me that they it does divide, but you don't have to kill the uh the the divisions they seem to just kind of die on the next turn i'm not sure if that's like what's actually happening but that seems to be what's happening also um i should mention this is like this is gonna be like episode six or something uh if you've been watching this series and commenting with tips and stuff i have been reading them make no mistake um but the thing is is that I record a lot of stuff in advance. So as much as I will definitely heed your advice, um, I won't be able to put anything into practice until basically these episodes go up and then you comment on them and then I read them. So it'll it'll be a while is, is what I'm saying. Suggested jazz, no copyright. I just appeared on my screen. <laughs> um, all right. So what? What are we hoping for? I guess we're hoping for. Uh, no, we're not hoping for more jellies. Make no mistake, we're not hoping for more jellies. Maybe if you don't like kill them all in one in one attack, then they divide. Oh, banded mail. That's pretty good, right? We're two away. Will result in an armor rating of two. That's not good. And it will increase our st stealth by quite a lot. That's no good. Fire trap. Okay, there's our first fire trap in a room full of uh, explosive gas. We don't want to do that. Okay, let's rest up. We could use some more food pretty soon. Just like in real life. Another scroll. Yeah, I mean, if you haven't eaten in a while, maybe, maybe you want to do that. <laughs> um, scroll of Protect Armor. That is the worst time to read something like that. Turquoise Potion. More jellies. Man... It's a lot of gel. There's a lot of jellies. We are 
not doing good for health right now. Let's go to the shadow room. This this room here. Yeah, look at that. That that stealth is really good. Let's go ahead and rest up here. Maybe. Oh no, it saw us. That's fine. I love. Uh, I was mentioning like the the <laughs> the coloration on the ground to indicate like blood. You are hungry. Well, we should eat something. Uh, I love that the, the the jellies leave like pink blood on the ground. Let's drink some potions. Oh, oh, it was a potion of descent. See, that's why you got to do those near the staircases. We are on depth five. Was I on depth four when I drank that? It's a little bit spooky. What is this? Staircase upward. Okay. Wow, that's in the water, huh? Yeah, we want to we wanna finish off this area before I move on to the next one. Um, is there any... Oh, is that, that hole in the ground gone? Let's check out this other potion. I, I clearly have uh, <laughs> learned my lesson. Get out of here, eel. Pretty sure that's a bad potion. Yellow potion. Potion of darkness. Okay, so yeah, these are bad. So I can go ahead and... Uh, well, I don't need to call that one. I know what that one is, but I can call this one... Bad potion. And then I drop it. And I'm pretty sure I'm done now. It's going to pick up that bad potion again. God. You feel weak with hunger. Okay, let's eat some food. I'm not sure if there's anything I should be dropping. Oh, we should drop her the, the dagger. That's like no good to us anymore. Uh, we could throw some javelins. I'm not sure if I should be equipping the flail. Probably not. I'm already not using something that I can wield properly yet. I want to drop these potions. There we go. Okay. We we need some better armor. Um, oh, yeah, okay. I do have that equipped. Nice. We need some better armor, and then I... Uh, this run will start to feel pretty good. This is a fire trap. Confusion trap. So it does actually tell you what kind of trap it is. I'm not sure why... Like, is there a reason I can see those traps? Maybe it's... Like, I, I could always see the pressure plate. Oh, well, I guess I didn't see that pressure plate. That was a caustic gas one. Maybe they appear within your line of sight, like, uh, within a radius. And if you're moving too quickly, then you can, like, just screw up and, and step on the pressure plate. That makes sense for me. Oh, plate armor. Well, plate armor. That'll be good for later, but not for now. Two potions of telepathy. So we have banded mail. I don't know why that has a seven in its bracket. Um, and we can't wear the plate mail at all. So why do I still have the bad potion? <laughs> Two scrolls of enchanting. That's really good. Um, really comes down to if, like, if I descend enough, like, if I descend too quickly, basically. You're now familiar with your ring of clairvoyance to so identify it. It is a plus one ring of clairvoyance. Amazing. Um, if I descend too quickly, there's a there's a troop of jackals. Then I may, I don't, I don't know, like I. I may uh, equip something else or I might start enchanting my current equipment, but I have like really good equipment to, you know, to, to try on. Um, although it's, it's no, no good to us right now, but like I have two uh, two scrolls of enchanting. So it might be better to start enchanting like 
our axe, for instance, because we may be using that for a little bit longer. But personally, I would like to wait until we get a couple of scroll uh, potions of strength. Because, you know, like, we've we've got good equipment right now. I just need to be able to use it. All right. Wait, that's that's the way back. I have yet to recognize uh, what is the you know the path down and what is the path back up. Oh, there's a jackal horde. Let's get rid of those while we uh, see them. Okay, and then we'll rest up. Wait, what was that? Was that a goblin? Yeah, it was a goblin mystic. Huh. The, the goblin seemed to split apart there for a moment. Okay. Get rid of those. Don't hang out in the water because the eels are going to get you. No, I don't want to go in the water. That is absolutely the worst. I wonder why I'm uh, I'm hurting things like all around me. Like I'm only attacking one jackal, but I seem to be attacking all jackals around me. Is that because of the axe? Ah, the arc of its swing permits you to attack all adjacent enemies simultaneously. That's really good. What about the, uh, what is, does the flail do something? Um, a free attack whenever moving between two spaces that are adjacent to an enemy. Huh. Allowing you a free attack whenever moving between two spaces that are adjacent to an enemy. So if I move around an enemy, I'll do damage with this? Is that what I'm hearing? Because that sounds amazing. Well, now I really want to get some strength potions. Like... It sounds to me, from the, the way that's being described, it really sounds like if I just move around an enemy, I have I'm, I get free attacks forever. Which is just kind of awesome. I'm going to do searches every once in a while. Now that I know that they have a, a, a range, that definitely helps to know. Uh, I did read online there's always a way to get around this lava, so this must mean that there... Ooh, what is that? Centipede. Oh, the centipede st saps strength when it inflicts damage. Okay, well, I I'm sure that it is aware of my presence, so let's throw some javelins at him. I hit the centipede. Um, javelin. I missed... Gonna get one more good throw with the javelin. Missed it again, okay. So our, our strength has been uh, sapped and now we can't use our ax, which is really bad. <laughs> you missed the centipede. I'm, I'm wondering like how bad is the ax if we're not using it? 15% of the time that it hits an enemy, the enemy will be cloned. Yo, that's not good. That's why that's why I've been seeing enemies get getting like duplicating. That's actually awful. Uh and we don't have a dagger. So oh man. We could equip the darts. Oh man, the centipede sucks. We're at 34%. We just took 34% damage. Okay, we need to get out of here. Um, is there anything I can use to get out of here quicker? No, not really. He keeps hurting me. Vampire bat, get out of here. Why, like, the situations get so much worse at any given moment. Okay. I, I don't feel good about our odds right now, to be honest.
Okay, I need to... Oh, man, we took a hit. We're, we're, we're doomed. There's no way. The fact that they get free hits while moving is really a bummer. Okay, I actually got some distance in there. I don't know how I managed to do that, but... I'm going to try and continue to descend and put some more distance between us. They are really intent on on killing me though. The vamp the vampire bats suck so much. I love that we're still weakened also. Like that weakened effect seems to last basically forever. What is that? Fire trap? You know what? Honestly, uh See you later, suckers. Nah. Nah, I'm, I won't do that. Taking hits from the goblin. Very nice. Oh, I walked right into a dead end. Well, that's that. There's no way. There's no way I'm going to survive this. I'm pretty sure I pressed T. When I read that it saps your strength, I, I really should have um, read, been smarter about this. The, the centipede is, no, they're not. I thought for a moment that they were almost dead, but they're not. I'm not sure. I really don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I think nothing. I think just die. I could use a teleport throw. No, I don't want to throw that. Like, the only thing I could do is use my sc um, scrolls of enchanting, but I can't even use my axe right now. It's actually so bad, I can't use my axe. Hmm... Use it on my axe, why not? It does seem to reduce the uh, prerequisites to use the axe. I wish I had like a thing of teleportation. The only reason we're alive right now is because the goblin is blocking the door. So I guess I could use this again on our axe. And now it is... Uh, Axe, plus two Axe of Plenty with a 12 prerequisite. <laughs> Negative five because of your inadequate strength. Could we like maybe throw javelins at the centipede? Goblin cuts you. Well, I mean, I'm going to die, but if I could possibly kill the centipede, that would be really good. Goblin skewers you. The goblin is actually doing a lot of work right now. Javelin hits the centipede. 22, negative 22% health. Okay, that's it for javelins. Uh, now we move on to darts. Wow, that actually hurt the centipede quite a lot, but we also died. That was a really rough run. That was really, really rough. Uh, if I see a centipede again, I will be running away. Centipedes suck. All right, well, that's been Brogue. Um, I'm still learning, but you know, that's, that's how these things go. If you're enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more stuff, more stuff, more brogue, more other things too. Um, take it easy.